Hi guys, Angela here with Ella Kate Designs and we're gonna try another new-ish video today. Um, I'm just gonna be sewing in the signature for a single signature journal, which is one of the, the many journals I've been working on currently. Um, I'm very unmotivated today, <laughs> so I thought maybe if I turn the camera on, I'll actually get something accomplished. So, uh, again, I don't know if this is going to be a total fail or not. Um, I've wanted to do a video kind of showing how to sew in the, the signatures of a journal, but I have a tendency to use a lot of bad words, so I'm going to try and <laughs> refrain from doing that today as best as I can and if not then this video just might not ever see daylight again so um, <clears throat> I have the cover and the inside pages which I'm going to set the inside pages aside for the moment uh, the cover to save a, a little bit of time so this isn't you know a three hour long video I've already um, poked the holes through the cover. So what I do for that is I take my Tim Holtz uh, ruler, you know, that has the zero centering, and find the center, uh, and then I go, generally speaking, when I'm doing like the nine by six-ish size journals, I do the three hole pamphlet stitch. So I do one hole at zero and then one hole at three on each side. So I've already poked those holes through. And then in the very center of my signature is going to be this envelope. It will be an envelope once it's all together. Uh, and a little trick that I'll pass along to you guys. Whatever my center signature envelope pocket, whatever it's going to be, I reinforce it with a strip. It's called, let me grab it here. Uh, it's just paper tape. You can get it at <clears throat> Dollar Store, you can get it at Walmart. It's really cheap. But it adds just a little extra strength to that, that center crease where your holes are going to be in the very center of your journal where it's, you know, as you're flipping pages back and forth, it gets use and those holes can tear. So I just like to reinforce the center a little bit. So what I do to try and ensure that my holes all line up is I take my center and I fold it the opposite way and I'm going to line it up as best as I can with my holes here. And you'll see my holes aren't even, well, I don't know if you can see with my camera, aren't 100% lined up. And that's mostly because of the design of this and shape of this uh, cover. It got kind of lumpy and bumpy, but that's okay. It still, still will work. And I just make three little marks where my holes are going to be and fold my envelope back the correct way and find my little pokey tool here. And I'm just going to poke those three holes. Easy enough, right? Right. Then what I'm gonna do is take the rest of my papers, which for the most part I've already lined up and kind of centered them the way I want because they're not all the same size. This journal is a little more, I, I don't know, I guess you could say tattered. And I've got this doily here. I'm just sliding, sliding up slightly. So 
once I have my papers where I want them or think I have or think that they are where I want them. I'm just going to take two binder clips and clip those pages together so they stay where I want them. And it doesn't always work the way you want. So sometimes it takes some futzing. Now I don't claim to be an expert on this. I have had my share of <laughs> accidents and oopsies and moments when sewing in signature and naturally it, it would you'd have those issues as soon as you turn the camera on and people are watching and these never quite line 100% up because of all the lumpy bumpies but it's okay because it all still works or not. Of, of course, naturally, the one time I'm doing this on camera is the, the time that I'm struggling the most with it. So, sometimes binder clips are not my friends. So I'm just going to grab a couple of paper clips instead. So those sometimes... <clears throat> seem to work a little bit better for me. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. Alright, I think, I think we're good now. So, once I have that situated, I'm going to take my pokey tool again and slowly... Kind of drill a hole through all those papers. Now I know some people use like the telephone book method. I I didn't have good luck with that, so this is just kind of how I have learned to do it, and it works for me. Maybe it'll work for you. I just kind of hold it and keep that crease while slowly kind of drilling that hole through with my little pokey tool. So those are all set and it's time to sew it into the cover. Now one tip that I'm going to pass along because I've done it I don't know how many times Make sure your pages are facing in the direction you want them facing when you sew them into the cover. So make sure it's all facing up. Because I have sewn signatures in upside down and had to tear them out and redo it. And, you know. So I've already threaded my needle to save a little time. And Generally speaking, what I use to sew in my signatures are uh, these spools of cotton crochet thread. Now, I know a lot of people like using waxed thread because it does hold a little tighter. And I also use waxed thread, but I wax my own. I have these chunks of wax that you can buy, you know, in any hobby store for making candles. And all I do is run my thread through the wax a couple of times and get a nice little coat of wax on the thread and then you're ready to go. So now we're going to start sewing in the signatures and I'm going to start in the center hole and go through the pages and through the cover and straight 
struggle on camera some more because, you know, that's how we roll. Um, and leave, leave a tail in the center there. Now, this is going to be a little trickier because this is a semi-soft cover, fabric covered journal. And so you can't see the hole here, so I'm going to have to hold it up to the light. Kind of sort of off camera here, guys. Sorry. And find where that hole is. And then when you're going back through the paper, through this side, it's a little trickier. Sometimes you have to go one or two sheets at a time as to not, you know, just puncture new holes in those papers because, again, I've done that. Just saying, we've all, we've all been there. And we are back through the middle. So we're going to go down the rabbit hole again through the center. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully I'm in the right spot. Sometimes it's easier to go through the papers first. Sorry if I'm going off camera. And then find that hole in the cover. Because once you get it through all of them, you can tighten up your strings. And it won't be won't be an issue. So, now I'm going to go through the very bottom hole. And this one's going to be a little trickier because I've got some lace and some danglies here in the way that I'm going to have to navigate around. And again, I'm holding it up to the light to find my hole, which I've got. And you see where my string is snagging on my danglies. I'm going to kind of navigate that however I can. And then we'll go back through. The pages in the signature if, if I can. There we go. All right. So, carefully pull up my thread. Make sure it's all snug. And get those where I want them to be. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and then what I like to do, take my paper clips off out of the way there, is I tie one knot in the center there. Then to make it extra snug and secure, I thread my needle underneath this first top loop here, if you can see it, and pull it around. And then I tie a second knot. And that just seems to make it nice and snug and pulls all of your stitching nice and close. And I do do a, a third knot just to get it nice and snug. Now for my journals, I like to leave a decent amount of string in the middle 
just in case something happens. And you need to undo it and say retie them. You have plenty of excess thread in the center, which you're not going to see because this envelope is going to get glued shut. So once it's all sewn in, I like to turn a couple pages at a time and just give them a little bit of a crease as to where they're actually going to be, you know, turning and moving at that, that center kind of crease. Just to kind of get them working and bending and get used to moving that way. So, that, that is it. <laughs> it's, it's reasonably easy. I know for a lot of newbies, sewing in the signatures can be a very kind of intimidating and daunting task. And so I recommend starting out with just doing single signature journals like this one because it's much easier um, as opposed to when you get into the, the bigger books where you're sewing in, you know, six signatures it's a lot more measuring and that can be very very daunting um so even yeah you can see here mine i've been making journals for years and you can see it's not exactly straight and again that's because this cover <clears throat> is a little bumpy and lumpy the way that it it turned out but that's okay um that's part of its handmade charm and so yeah we just go from there so now that I know all my papers are in there and they're secure and nothing is wonky I'm going to glue the envelope shut I always like to double check because sometimes you'll have a one of your pieces of paper like slip or something when you're sewing it in and it gets in there a bit wonky. So before I glue the envelope shut, I like to make sure it's all where it's supposed to be. So I'm just using Eileen's Tacky Glue, which is pretty much my go-to glue. And oops running it up the sides and then we're gonna glue it down and that is that so this journal is almost complete i do have some bits and bobs and what not to, to finish on it um, but this will be soon hopefully maybe in the next week I don't know my next week's kind of kind of busy I'm hoping to have these this one and another one finished and listed on my Etsy hopefully by maybe Sunday uh, but that's a little sneak peek for ya um, so this one was the, the single signature. I'd started making a collection of romance journals way before Valentine's Day and had hoped to have them out before Valentine's Day, but obviously that has not happened. And that's okay because they're just vintagey journals with kind of a romantic inspiration and vibe to them but there's nothing strictly like valentine's about them so there's this one and then i'll show you a sneak peek of the larger one that has the same kind of color tones so this is the the larger larger one in progress it's not all sewn in yet but you can kind of see have a little sneaky peek there i think that was upside down guys sorry 
I, I switch my camera angle depending on if I'm doing a flip through of a journal or if I'm doing like a process video, I guess you could call it. And so, yeah, I just decided to flip that over. So that is the sneak peek of the other one. Um, yes. Yeah, so I, I hope maybe you learned something or learned something not to do from this video. And I don't think I said any bad words in it. So, uh, I think I'm going to try and do some more process videos randomly as I'm working on stuff for you guys. Uh, if, if you want them, if not, then I, I won't, that's fine too. So anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this and, uh, have a great rest of your week, guys. Bye.